Tonight's top stories from the unit website include William Hague demands red card Record unemployment, low inflation underline Europe's pain EU shelves plans to ban refillable olive oil jugs EU aims to beat US in chip race Plus more of your letters, this time the topic is immigration I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit nightly news. First from our homepage, William Hague has called for national parliaments to be given powers to block unwelcome laws from the European Union. The demand for a new red card system is the first explicit request about EU reform from the Tories after they pledged to hold an in-out referendum in 2015. Mr Haig, in a speech to a foreign policy think tank in Germany, said national parliaments should be able to overrule unwanted EU legislation. Fascinating. So let's look at this in reverse then. What William Hague is saying is that the UK Parliament in Westminster does not have the power to ignore or overrule EU legislation. That then makes the EU Parliament supreme ruler and overlord above Westminster. Essentially that means the UK is no longer sovereign as it cannot control its own national policy. <laughs> wow! How did the UK government get away with that without telling anybody? Unemployment has reached a new high in the Eurozone and inflation remains well below the European Central Bank's target, underscoring just how severe a challenge EU leaders face to revive the bloc's sticky economy. Joblessness in the 17-nation currency area rose to 12.2% in April, statistics agency Eurostat said on Friday, marking a new record since the data series began in 1995. Now, it's tricky trying to work out these statistics. Earlier this week, we reported of almost 60% youth unemployment in Spain. And as you'll see later in our video library section, well, I'm afraid that Greece is going to hell in a handbasket. The EU has dropped plans to ban restaurants from using refillable jugs and bowls of olive oil after they drew consumer criticism and even ridicule. The policy would have forced restaurants to only serve olive oil in tamper-proof packaging labelled to EU standards as of next year. The move had been aimed at avoiding consumers being tricked, Agriculture Commissioner said. But critics, including the British Prime Minister David Cameron, accused the EU of meddling. <laughs> meddling? <laughs> They're not meddling. They're all mental. <laughs> These kleptocrats must have lost the plot. You've got Draghi on the magic money-go-round. Money go Oli Wren is the overseer of Greek and Cypriot robbery. The whole southern European bloc is falling into the bottomless abyss. And what do our balmy Bruswellian bureaucrats do? As the euro economy vanishes over the event horizon, they write up a piece of legislation banning olive oil in jugs from restaurants. <laughs> Europe's Digital Agenda Commissioner on Thursday set out plans for the EU to produce more micro and nano chips than the US in the next seven years. I want to double our chip production to around 20% of global production. I want Europe to produce more chips in Europe than the United States produces domestically. It's a realistic goal if we channel our investment properly, said Commissioner Neely Crows, as she announced a strategy to use public financing to supplement industry funding. The strategy will see 5 billion euros in public funding going to research and development. Around 30% of that will come from the EU, with the rest coming from national and regional funds and the European Investment Bank. So, business folks, if you're in the research and development business, then this is a great opportunity to think about getting some funding for your digital electronics projects. In a letter to Ron Wheatley, he is asked what is the purpose of large-scale immigration when we have so many people out of work? Well, the answer is quite simple. It was a deliberate government policy to undermine national homogeneity. 
it used to be the duty of government to protect the native population from invasion and colonization. Now they have stood that duty on its head. Andrew Nether revealed that New Labour boosted third world immigration with the deliberate intent of causing irreversible demographic change. In short, the government was electing a new people which it calculated would be more likely to vote Labour. Well, thanks to Edward Spalton for writing this excellent article. Please keep them coming, folks. The stuff you guys are writing these days is just top notch. Today in our video library, I really never thought I would be saying this. It's like something from a war zone. The Greek government has shut down their national TV and radio stations, firing 25,000 people and calling it a waste of money. Sorry, but I'm not buying it. This is a political smear. The reason they want it shut is to rein in the media. But this is an arcane way of thinking. You can't hide the dissatisfaction, protesting and outrage that the Greek people are displaying by shutting down the national media, because the media sources are now far too diverse. However, this does demonstrate how bad things have really got. And personally, having watched all the articles pour through the unit newsroom on this topic, I think that Greece is very, very close to a revolution. What a sad and sorry mess these fools in the EU have made. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Join us in our live Question Time style online show, The Unit Interactive, broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page are below. <laughs>